just want to take a minute here and explain the difference between the genotype of an organism and try to differentiate that from the phenotype. And the main difference for uh, most of history up until fairly recently is that we could not measure this genotype. We didn't, we didn't have a great idea of what it was, and we didn't have a way to look at it, because this is literally the genes of the organism in question. It's the instructions, the DNA of how to build that organism. It's the blueprint, as they say. And, uh, you know, we now have computers that can take a little blood sample and figure out the entire DNA structure and show us what it looks like. But for a very long time, we didn't know how that worked. All we had to go on was the phenotype over here. And this is literally what you see when you look at it. This is the looks. And that's a very broad definition. It's also uh, chemical things that we can measure. And um, it's which genes are actually expressed is a, a more rigorous way to say it. Genes that are expressed. Because there are genes in the blueprint that don't always actually affect the organism. They sometimes are dormant or uh, or recessive is the word. Genes expressed, expressed in the organism. And so the genotype, to give an example, a genotype would literally be, you know, the, the double helix structure of DNA, which I'm not doing a great job of drawing, but something like that just to give you a little visual, and it's the A, T, C, G, A, T, you know, the whole, the entire string would be literally the genotype. And the example for phenotype would be blonde hair, or, or being tall is a pretty general one, but blonde hair versus brown hair is actually one that maps to one specific gene, so that's sort of a, a link between them. But then being tall is a pretty general thing. That depends on many different genes. And Mendel with his pea pods, some of them were wrinkly and some of them were were more smooth, wrinkly and smooth. So, you know, to summarize, genotype you have to look at the genes. The word is pretty much in there. You, you would have to actually look at the specific letters and genes on the DNA strand. And phenotype, I, I don't have a clever uh, rhyming thing for this, but for phenotype, you just have to take measurements at the macro scale. You just have to look at the organism or, or maybe take a blood sample other than a DNA blood sample.